Yeah, it all started last night when several members of Charlotte City Council came here to support this bar, Hattie's Tap and Tavern, which was just allowed to reopen three days ago. It's the picture that's ignited a firestorm on social media. Snapped by the publisher of QC Nerve, the picture shows a member of Charlotte City Council standing while not wearing a mask at Hattie's Tap and Tavern, a neighborhood pub located in between Charlotte's Plaza Midwood and Noda neighborhoods. We've been closed for seven months now. Owner Jackie Deloach says she's worked hard to put new safety precautions in place and just two days after reopening was visited by several members of Charlotte City government. It was pretty awesome. I mean, I, Larkin has been a, a customer here for years. Deloach and says some of what's being alleged on social media like, is true. You know, at first, we did have to ask the mayor to get her mask, so she had to go back to her car and get her mask. But Deloach says masks are not required when sitting and believes the photo blown out of proportion, saying it captured just one snapshot in time. We weren't incredibly busy at the time. There were four empty tables down there, and we were fine with with one person standing. But critics say the picture captures perfectly as to how we're all learning our new normal with them. Just hours I'm earlier during a city council officers. meeting. I'm gonna pull this aside while I talk. It was Councilman Eggleston seen here without his mask who was quick to uh, react when council member uh, Driggs I, took his to off. What's that? I think we're all going with the mask, but we can hear you fine. Also during that meeting, Council Member Braxton Winston asked the council to be able to join future council meetings via WebEx, citing health concerns. The council was split in their vote with the mayor being the tiebreaker. She ultimately voted no. Now, I have also reached out to all members of Charlotte City Council. We've posted the responses we've received on our website. Reporting in Charlotte, Ashley Daly, WCNC Charlotte.